All right, we are live, and uh, this is going to be a quick, quick critique. You have a phone call in 35 minutes that you have to get to. Um, so we are going to uh, burn through this one this week. We'll go until the phone rings. Could well, that's a, that's a little weird because, like, what if you're writing mid-critique or what? I, I would hate for you to not be able to critique someone's image right, who made who made the cut. Today we're going to be critiquing RGB images, images that were taken with, uh, like, off-the-wall colors. Or they've been edited to look like crazy okay. colors. That's what you said. Uh, that's what I said. Uh, if you would like to be a part of the next critique, what is it going to be? It's uh, aviation or aerial photography. So it can be pictures of aviation or pictures taken from drones, pictures taken from the air. Have you guys done that one yet, that subject? I don't know. I don't know. We We've did it. We did done, it in your spirit. We hope that you're here for before, it. I think drone photography, but this is a little more broad than that. So cool. if you want to enter into that critique, go to fstoppers.com/contests. Correct. And you can uh, do that. You can also find the link in the description below. Should we get right into this one? Yep. Let's do it. And I haven't. Uh, we we look. You can see our garbage set. Up here. Oh, you've given We've it away. Taped up a the, fake wall. Hurting my so brand as we speak. We put that up there to hide it, but you can see a little, a little bit right above Patrick's right, we'll, head. We'll have to get that fixed here in a bit. So this is the highest rated image, and this image, I mean, it's amazing. Who took this? This is Chase, right? Chase Wilson. Chase Wilson has already won like eight, <laughs> eight critiques. Um, he he does these very well thought out uh, story-esque photographs with actors and scenes and you know he's, he's getting the the outfits and the cars and everything it's really amazing and the lighting on this is co is cool too are you guys ready to rate this one yeah it's gonna be a little bit different than what we just filmed but yeah we'll talk about that in a second all right three two one i'm going five stars on this i feel like this is awesome I'm going four stars. Okay. Um, you know, it's it's so hard for me to, at times to determine what's the difference between a four and a five, but this is just done so well. It's so interesting. I don't know what the story is, and maybe I don't even have a high enough res image to see all the details. Like, what is the dude in the right holding? Is he holding a gun or something? I don't see yeah, guns. Yeah, it says there's a murder burying a body situation. Match the tone of an earlier image we shot of a crime scene where a truck was pulled over and criminals were burying a body. I remember that image. Well, it was shot to match the tone, but uh, from the initial concept, I knew I wanted this image to lean heavily into the teal and orange palette, so I made a light fixture that would stick to the building facade magnetically for added color and allow for, a cor for correct positioning. What? The characters were lit with artificial light, the amber colored light is an Einstein with a small beauty dish gelled with a full color temperature orange. And the teal light is brought to you by a 10 inch scrim. Or is that 10 foot scrim? Gelled with a full teal gel. What's crazy is I assume that light, I can't assume. I, I felt like it was on the right hand side of the frame, but if you look at the younger guy, he's got a teal on the left. This almost feels like the sort of image where you would just set your camera's white balance cooler and then warm up the stuff you want warmer, right? It sounds like he's actually used two different colors here. The roof, there's so many elements of this image that have that teal color though. Hmm. So uh, anyone watching this should definitely go to fstoppers.com slash contest. You can see the current critique and earlier ones like this one. And Chase, in this image, he put links to a, uh, like behind the scenes and stuff. So you can get more info on how this was taken. Pretty, pretty this cool. This feels like a Bruce Springsteen song or a heavy-handed Gregory Crudson image. If that makes sense. You know Gregory Crudson? Is he the guy who takes photos like this? Yeah, Wide shots the, of uh, towns and stuff? Mysterious, large format film, okay. staged and styled scenes. And this a lot one, of his scenes, it'll be like he's controlled the lights on the... Yeah, he'll rent like a whole town out and yeah. do this kind of thing. And this just feels... I, I, it's incredibly, like, technically proficient. It just... The 
there's a something about it that feels a little too polished to me, and that's why mm. you know a it, little it, too it films it feels a little more digital than film like. Right. I got you. Okay, next up, we're spending a lot of time on this one. Uh, we're gonna let Mike give two tutorials away at the end of this. Next up, this image was taken by Jonathan Lodge. And I've read some of these descriptions. This one's kind of crazy. So it sounds like he's using a lot of, should we talk about it first or rate it? This looks like Avatar. It does look like Avatar. And it's funny, I hate the Avatar movie so much. I just, I don't think it's a good movie, but I love the Avatar world at Disney. So oh, I have this, this internal struggle that I have to uh Are you guys deal ready with. to rate this one or do you let's do it. Three, two, one. Going four stars. Patrick. I gave it a three. A I like the three. color and the mood and everything. I just I feel like this is so strange and it's so out there and it's so experimental that it almost when I saw this, I felt like this was a CGI rendering. Yes. And it, or it feels like this was a very clear image taken out of a fish tank or something. It just had this vibe that I was like, I don't know what you would do with your portfolio. It's like you almost have to become the guy who's known for this, this one thing. And people are like, oh my gosh, he takes these incredible pictures that are, the colors are so vibrant and everything. But then I read how it was done and I've gained a little bit of respect for the technical element of it. But and as- how, how was it done? This was taken with a UV light, and it sounds like he modified it like a speed light so that it only emits UV light. And because I would imagine the light output will be so low that he had to do 30 second exposures and then fire the strobes as many times as possible Wow! to be able to get enough UV light to do this. Now, I'm sure there's more going on in here. He wrote quite a bit. Yeah, I'm well, sorry. I, think I don't really know if the cool. camera it's had to be. different, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, he almost created this fantastical world, like I said, like Avatar. I don't know if that was the intention, but it is something that is significantly unique, different, different that I have not seen before, and I think that's very cool. And I think the story adds to it. To read his whole write-up, again, fstoppers.com slash contest. Next up. It's my girlfriend. <laughs> We're live, Mike. Come on. So the... We filmed a critique not live seconds ago, and it was a video that I have wanted to do with both of you for years. And I told both of these guys that we were going to be critiquing 15 black and white images. Yeah. What I did not tell them was half of them were famous Ansel Adams prints, and half of them were crappy images of themselves that I had taken off Photoshop or Facebook and then photoshopped them out of, and then made them black and white. And so we went through and honestly critiqued every image. I then reveal to them the truth, and then we go back and they have to guess which image was their own picture taken off Facebook, or was it taken by the master Ansel Adams? And uh, hilarity ensues. So that video will be live on the main F-Stoppers channel Pretty soon, like next. yeah, I gotta edit the whole thing together. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a bit of work, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a good But did this one. image that's on the screen remind you of that in some way? No, or? no, no. You just brought it up. Where, like I wanted to mention it before. Okay, became an inside joke. Yeah. All right, are you ready? Let's go full screen real quick, and let's rate it. All right. Three, two, one. Two. Oh, two stars. I don't know. This wow. feels a little like it's on the verge of super cool and cheesy. And I, I'm i feeling the cheesy route. Like if I went to someone's website and this was the first image, uh -huh. I would think the next image would be bad. <laughs> okay. This was rated lower and I feel like I scrolled down further to find this. Mm -hmm. This just felt like an album cover or something to me. This felt like modern, postmodern pop art or something. I agree. It's, and I was like, this is kind of cool. I thought it was different. Um, I'm not exactly sure how they got this effect. It sounds like they used a 10-stop neutral density filter that had a horrible color cast to it. <laughs> and this was the result. And then maybe they kind of pushed the colors a little bit more towards that. Insanity. Right. But I think this is kind of cool. I, I like it. It just feels different. And... 
This was taken by v Viren Nathan. Next up. Interesting. Alan Jacoby. Quilling papers shot from above with a macro lens and a flashlight from the side. So does this, should this be allowed in this critique? It seems like he didn't light it or create these colors. He just shot a picture of something that is colorful. There are two images in here that are on the border of not quite being what the theme was, but then I reread what you wrote for entering this contest, and you kind of made it ambiguous by saying, like, any way that you manipulate colors or introduce unnatural-looking colors. And I was like, well, this definitely feels that way. Mike Kelly was definitely in the chess club or debate team in high school. Jan Thomas Patterson. Is that what somebody in the comments has yeah. said? Well, if you see the way that he debates off camera, I would say <laughs> he wasn't very successful in that club. You should see him debating how bad Ansel Adams' photography is. Wait until this video comes out. <laughs> Let's rate it. <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm going four stars. Three stars. Three. I think it's, again, it's kind of weird for your portfolio, but I can see somebody having a whole series of stuff like this. Yes. And I, this just, I mean, you're the guy, Mike, who's really good at picking out what is commercially viable in the fine art world. Can you see a, mo I feel like I could see a modern hotel where they're printing huge things like yeah, this. Yeah, if it was a little more abstract, a little more refined, I think, color-wise. Um, when you say that, what do you mean? Is this too many colors? You yeah, want to see it's a narrow too colorful. Like it, 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 it'd be tough to work into a, into a decor theme because there's so much color going on, you know. But I think it's a it's a great experiment, a great starting point, and I do see a lot of potential to create some really interesting abstract pieces here. Do you feel like you can tell this is paper too much, or does that? Um, part I feel of like it... if I if I spent a few minutes looking at it, I could. The edges, you know what I mean. They've got the rough edges and some of the sheets there. Um, but like, I think it's a very interesting exploration that should be continued to be probed, if you will. Probed. Next up. What the hell is this, amateur hour? I mean, all these people are calling us. I don't know what this is. I, I forgot to silence mine as well. So. A lot of South Carolina. I don't know what that is, where that is. Next up. This image was taken by Yaw Esido. This model from an editorial I shot for Les Officiel Baltics with model Alicia Burke. The editorial is called In Living Color. I used gels that complemented the styling. I used three lights for this shot. I think it's a beautiful photo. Before I rate, what, does, what do people mean when they say, when they're doing a photo like this, what is editorial? Is that a certain style, or is it just that it appeared in a magazine as not an advertisement? Like, for what I do, architecture, it's very clear. It's a story about a house, about a couple living in a house, or whatever. But for, I see so much fashion stuff like this, and it's all editorial. And what are they, are they featuring the clothes? Is this a new line? Is this about the model? Is it about the clothing, about the sunglasses? What exactly is? Uh, I would think it's a story within a magazine, and it's, like you said, not an ad for this brand, it's a story that the magazine itself is And it could be about the on. hat or the sunglasses or something. Or all of the above, but yeah. Or the designer. Maybe the designer yeah. has a part in all of this. Do we rate this? We have not. not Let's do it. Three, two, one. I'm going three, three, four. you go four, Mr. Kelly. I think it's, a, it's an excellent photograph. And uh, the skin is handled beautifully. I do love how reflective her skin is. That looks really cool. I love the, you know, the the lighting throughout. You guys did a shot like this, didn't you? Where you shot yourself. <coughs> I think he did it better. I mean, he he did it yeah, better did than it me. Better, yeah, absolutely. You sir are no longer allowed in my. Somebody home. said it looks like you're still on the toilet, but in a nightclub. I was like, yeah, okay. My one critique, and I know that these are like five thousand dollar sunglasses. They look like ten dollar <laughs> gas station sunglasses that a six year old would wear. Well, the hat also. I mean, everything about fashion looks so stupid. <laughs> I think my biggest critique might be her facial expression. 
I feel like her lips are so dead. Can you I even want... critique fashion poses anymore? They're all so weird. And you know, mm. they're like, I can I, get up here and do I it, agree. But... I just want, I'm not saying I want her to smile, and I'm not saying I want her to frown. I just want something more from her mouth than what she's giving me. Mm -hmm. What bothers me, maybe this is minute, but I feel like these sunglasses, the way they're sitting, my eye keeps going to her eyelids, and it really bothers me because I want the sunglasses to be sitting up higher on her nose mm. or I want to not, I don't want my eye to go to her eyelids. It's just kind That's of true. That is kind of like big white areas under her eyebrows. All right, next up. Nope, another, another glasses image. I like this one a lot. I don't know if it's because... shower cabin. What is that? I need a shower cabin. <laughs> my next door neighbor built this like sh exterior shower right behind their house that the studio overlooks. And I'm like, this is the weirdest thing. Like, there's no pool. There's no beach. There's no reason to take a shower outside. But then it's got these little slits in it to where I'm like, no one would take a shower because our studio looks right at it. You know what I'm talking about? I didn't know they did that. Yeah, there's a shower right outside my property, right outside their property, butting up. Maybe they're doing photos like this in there. All right, are we ready to rate this? Yeah. Three, two, one. What is that? Three, three. Threes. I gave it four. I don't know. I, I dig this. I, uh, I'm not sure I love the crop. I feel like her chest area isn't as interesting as her face. It's almost like I want it to be a vertical, I'm sorry, a horizontal crop just across the middle of her face or something. A horizontal crop. This looks like it could be a... Like something like that, yeah. Like a cutscene in Half-Life or something. Oh, you need to you need to play... I've got Half-Life Alex, the VR game oh, here. You need to play that. I don't know if it's because of the lighting or the water or the other day I looked up like the most valuable comics from the 90s. And I started looking on eBay to see like these random Wolverine spawn comics and stuff. I think this would be a cool fashion editorial for those sunglasses. Really? I feel like this feels more like it's in the, the movie poster world or the comic world or video game world. This feels like a Todd McFarlane like sort of thing. Like she is missing something with her expression, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like she feels like an evil villain or something to me, and it's working more than... The last shot felt kind of dead. This one feels menacing, and I kind of like it. See, I don't know that she... She feels like a, a supporting character who's not necessarily the evil one. You get, like, an evil vibe. This is kind of like the Robin of Batman and Robin. It's mm, like... See, I, those glasses are like a Doc Octopus evil villain... She's, she's got the crazy lightsaber that she built, and she's about to go kill. It's like a Mandalorian still. Something you know, like this that. This is the way. Conrad says that this is actually a light modifier. Did, did it say he built this? or I believe the light, the, the, the sword-looking thing going through the frame, is the actual light. Am I reading that correctly? The rod is a yellow gelled strobe. The rest are a two gelled strobes just hitting the rest of the bathroom. I don't know what that means. It is pretty cool looking. This was taken by Conrad Sarnowski. Next up. So this was the second image in this critique where I was a little lenient on RGB lighting or strange coloring. But I thought this looked interesting and the play on the color and I don't know, I just, this one stood out to me. I've chosen 11 images instead of 10. Okay. But I know people out there who are sticklers for the rules of these contests. Yeah, I feel like this person cheated a bit. They just used a colorful wall but didn't really change the colors to make them uh, unrealistic or unnatural, I think is what I asked for, right? Unnatural. But we can still rate it. Let's do it. Three, two, one. I'm going four stars. I go four with this. I really I'm, like this. I, my, my skateboard, snowboard, BMX background is haunting Michael here. What if Ansel Adams Just, took this? Well, I feel like the shot is impressive. The coloring is impressive. The shadow is cool. But 
the trick, it may be impressive, but it doesn't look impressive. You know what I mean? Am I nuts? Also, his expression. His expression is dead, <laughs> for sure. Um, you'd want him to be, like, yelling, like, yeah, or something. But, yeah, he looks a little too chill. Does the perspective, like, it almost looks like he's sitting on a unicycle. But it just feels like the seat should be further back over the Maybe rear there's tire. no seat on this bike. And now I can't unsee this. The shot of looks like one of those old-timey 1905 bikes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it does look like that. I don't. I still think it's really cool. Like I love the Red Bull Loom stuff, and I don't know that this is quite there. I feel like you need him to be doing a cooler trick or being vertical or you know in a different position with a cooler expression. But this is the type of stuff that you see in the Red Bull Loom, and I think the color, the wall, like this is a very well planned out shoot. Next up. This image was taken by Peter Sweeney. Very interesting. He says, I took an existing photo and heightened the values for the left side and used it for the red channel. I repeated the process with an inverted image, making the left side brighter than the than the left and used that for the blue channel. And the green channel, I used the blue one, but with edits. Okay. I know some of those words. Yeah. He photoshopped this image. You didn't go out to this temple when we were in Dubai, did you? No, I haven't this seen it. This is no. in uh, Abu Dhabi. It's pretty incredible. It's probably the most beautiful, insane place I've ever been. Like that or the Vatican are the two places that I can just, you mm. just go there and you're like, this is nuts. Really? Not Maybe, I, I think this might even top the Vatican just because of just the architecture and everything. It, have you been out to this? Yeah. It's pretty wild. Let's rate it. Three, two, one. I'm going four. I really like I'm this. I'm four as well. I, I could go four. I, what I like about this, my favorite thing about this is that it's a different image of a over photographed subject. Yes, it's amazing, but everyone is taking a million pictures of this. Yeah. But I'm looking at it in a new a new light here. Bad line, true. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's I've never seen it look like this, and I appreciate that. And it's a new angle that I don't think I've seen. And for that reason, I think it's really, really this cool. This isn't the traditional spot that I feel like. I mean, I'm sure we said this about the Eiffel Tower once. I've never seen that spot. And then all of a sudden, everyone's like, it's the second most popular <laughs> way to shoot the Eiffel Tower. But normally people are on, I don't know if it's yeah, the other side. The street with the reflecting pool. And yeah, it's the, like the know, open, yeah. wide shot with the whole temple. This feels like everything is stacked on top of each other, which is really... Next up. Really pretty interesting. And a colorful architecture one. That's the final image. This one was taken by Tomas Haluska. And he says, wanted to do something new with a beauty slash fashion photo shoot, so I add a little bit of color gels in the mix. I have to say, looking through these images, there was a lot of stuff like this, like pretty girl, and I was like, how is Mike going to react to... A lot of them were like half naked or completely naked pretty girl with gels. But I feel like the images overall in this critique were... I really, I really enjoyed them. I feel like the use of color and gels made the images feel a lot more high-end than some of the stuff that we see. You know, we might have 40 images that are pretty good, and then after that, it's horrible. I felt like this was like 100 images that were pretty good before that fall-off happened. Uh, are we ready to rate it? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Ah, I'll go four. Okay, we, we all, all agree. Four. So there's something... The reason why I'm in between a three and a four, I, I think she looks wonderful. There's something about the choice of colors, maybe, that I'm not sure I love. I just feel like they're a little oversaturated or something. Yeah, that could be our screen down here. But the teal and orange does seem like an off. Like it doesn't Isn't seem that the complimentary most or something. Isn't this the most <laughs> obvious complimentary color use ever? I mean, how many YouTube videos are there about this yeah, color scheme used in this, movies? Something about this I, feels... Th there's a piece of hair that's driving me crazy. Where? Under the bun in the back, there's these two, like, flyaway 
colic I don't See, I don't know if I mind that. What about the ones that are coming off of her earring? Like right in the middle? I don't know. I feel like I want to go into uh, frequency separation, and I want her forehead has this like gray tonality, and I just want to pop a little stronger color blue or orange on her. Something about her forehead seems a little strange to me. Hmm. It's probably because the two lights are mixing there, but I almost want to just make the color up there a little more intense in either direction, change it more to blue or change it more to orange. I like it though. I think I, I love the play of colors here. I feel like her her lipstick, sometimes, you know, really red lipstick can look a little too over the top. I feel like that blends in well. I love the styling. The the hair looks great. Yeah. I, I, I gave it a four. We all gave it a four. We did. Next up, and is this the final image? There's, uh, yeah, this is the final image. This was taken by... Wow, we just blazed oh. through this in 30 minutes. Is I this know. one it picture? Can be done. Alon Jacoby. The collage wow. of management... College of management, I'm assuming. Oh. Also collage. So I remember once we were... In Israel. We were contacted by the Board of Tourism for Israel, of Israel. And they said, we want to fly you guys out there and do something in Israel, and the whole trip's paid for and everything, and like... You and I couldn't go. I went. <laughs> so we gave the trip to Mike Kelly. Yeah, and I got sick as a dog. Really? I got COVID five years ago before COVID was a thing. Oh, I yeah. don't know. I remember I was, that. Oh, I was horribly sick. Was there yeah. any chance that you know where this place is? And this I was don't part know of your where tour? It is, unfortunately, no. Um, but it was a great trip, and you would have enjoyed it for sure. And it made a lot of good mems and some great friends. But um, I have not seen this building in particular. This is definitely not what I think of when I think of Israel. Right. It says this is a colorful building in an abstract composition. So I would imagine this is one, one shot. It's so... I mean, awkward. there are kind of reflections of this over here. I mean, I want to turn the image just a bit so that the bottom window down here is now vertical because I imagine that that casement window opens that way. But mm. if I do that, then all of the other windows on the left side become in really strange positions. And it's almost like Mike always talks about, you don't want it to look like a, a fun house. I think the phrase you use a lot. Yeah. And I feel like this is, this is designed to look exactly like that. Are we ready? Yes, yeah, so we're, we're ready. Three, two, one. I went four, four, and three. I just feel like I need more context. Like, for, I mean... I'm, I'm not trying to look at this through an architectural photography lens, more a general lens. And this could be a great and amazing detail shot for an architect, and they might love it, and it could, it could be great. But on its own, is it strong enough? I don't feel like it's abstract. I feel like enough. other than the first shot, this is my second favorite image. Really? If, if now, let me also set, say, they did not follow the rules either. So, so this should not even be in this critique. Rule breaker. And they cannot win a tutorial, but I do like this image. I just feel like I want to understand the building more. It's kind of melting my brain. I think that's the point, though. That's what they were going yeah. for. All right. I do like the composition. I like mm. the sort of one-third, two-thirds. You've got the line right down the middle. It's graphic. It's interesting. I just feel like I want to see Community this 2. in a series. Community 2.5. They're rough. Rough, pretty rough on that one. Um, okay, Mike, you get to give away two free tutorials. To two different people but or you, one person? To two different but people. But we're going to exclude a few of these? Yeah, you can't exclude the cheaters. And <laughs> Chase Wilson, the first picture, he can't win either. He's already won like 10 times. So you have, you have like three choices. <laughs> I want to give one to the under the pier shot to Vera and Nathan. Okay, Vera and Nathan, Patrick, pull and it I up. And I want to give another one to... Hold on, let's let... I've got my own things are going on pull here. Pull it up. So this one. That one, so that's one winner. Vera, send me a private message on fstoppers.com. Let me know which tutorial we, you would like. And then what else, Mike? I'm gonna give one to... Showerhouse. Conrad Sarnofsky. 
because I think this is really cool. I agree, this is super cool. Send me a message on fstoppers.com. And for everyone else watching, if you head over to fstoppers.com slash store right now, we have literally the biggest sale we've ever had um, on our tutorials, including the Wear Our Meets Architecture series with Mike Kelly. Everything starts at 30% off and then goes up to 40% off if you buy two, 50% off with three, 60% off with four. And we had one guy the other day literally buy every tutorial <laughs> that we sell. And they became free at that point. Yeah, you're giving them away. <laughs> no, it's, like it's, it, no, it's 60%. You, you it's capped at 60% <laughs> off. I'm pretty sure he's probably going to try to do some chargeback, and he's probably stealing our products. But but we are monitoring him, and I know exactly <laughs> who this guy is. Exactly. So we will see But anyway, what yeah, uh, if you're looking to buy a tutorial, uh, definitely check that out. Anything else you guys have to say for now? Best aviation and aerial photos. Yeah. We, I've set one. it up for a week so that you will still be here because you will help yep. critique that as well. All right. I will. That'll be my, yeah. We'll do it. Sounds good. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will do another uh, coronavirus live soon, I am sure. We will see you next time. Someone come help me. Oh boy. Now you're good. <laughs>